नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस एंड प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई सी बैंगलोर अलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव बीन सॉल्विंग द आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन फिजिक्स एंड सिक्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर फिफ्टींथ एंड द लास्ट वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज वेर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यू नंबर सिक्सटी दैट इज द लास्ट एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द पेपर इट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट An electron of mass m e and charge e is projected with a speed v, making an angle theta with respect to the top of the electrode of a parallel plate capacitor, as shown in the figure. Considering only the effect of the downward constant electric field e on the electron's motion, which of the following statements is correct? Electron moves along trajectory c with a time of flight given by whatever that expression is. Electron moves along trajectory C with a maximum horizontal displacement given by that expression. Electron moves along trajectory A with a horizontal displacement given by that expression. Option D. Electron moves along trajectory B with a final velocity v cos theta parallel to the electrodes. So this is the figure. Electric field is uniform between the parallel plates. We know that the separation distance is t. and the electron is being projected with a velocity v bar making an angle of theta with the horizontal plate the top plate now observe this <coughs> the component v cos theta of the electron electron velocity is going to be unaffected correct because it, that is not uh, the direction in which electric field is acting which means v sin theta is going to get affected the vertical component now <clears throat> you will immediately realize that we have already studied this type of motion in motion in a plane or motion in two dimensions this motion is projectile motion projectile motion <clears throat> is the superposition of two mutually perpendicular motions along one direction it is uniform velocity motion in this case it is the horizontal direction and along the other direction it is uniformly accelerated motion we typically study projectile motion in the context of gravity but here we have nicely brought that particular concept where the electron or our particle is traveling downwards but they have asked us to ignore the gravity and only consider the electric field and we know that if electric field is in downward direction on any negatively charged particle including electron the the acceleration is going to be in the opposite direction okay so it is now clear that it is projectile motion now because it is projectile motion can option a be considered oh, sorry can path a be considered as the trajectory no because it is a straight line motion okay so the trajectory of the electron as long as it is between the plates of the capacitor is going to be parabolic so a is not right path a let us say path a not right correct path a not right so option c gone because it deals with trajectory a okay now let's take a look at b path b why can path b not be right that's because the moment electron reaches the mid the midway say the midway between the plates is it now the case that electron is no longer going to experience the force due to electric field no it will still experience an electric field in uh, the force due to electric field in the opposite direction which means it will continue to accelerate in that direction so b is also not right b not right because as long as electron stays in the field it is going to experience a force so b is also not right path b is not right okay why will it not come out with a final velocity of because it is because the extent of the plates goes beyond this right e bar still exists here in that blue region which means electron is still going to experience electric fields opposing force so it then boils down to options a or option or b electron moves along trajectory c that's a common part with the time of flight given by me v e by e e sin square theta 
and for option b we have electron moves along trajectory with a maximum horizontal displacement okay now what is the time of flight for a projectile motion under gravity the time of flight is 2v uh 2v sin theta by g but here we can't write g okay here we can't write g because the electron is not under acceleration due to gravity so what should we write we should write the acceleration of the electron okay what is the force the force is ee field into charge upon it right so the time of flight is going to be 2 mv sin theta by ee right 2 m uh, okay so that's not there 2 is not there sin squared it as there and we have sin theta okay so option a is not right as in uh that that's not right so option b must be true but let's just confirm it once the maximum horizontal displacement of the electron will be mev squared sin 2 theta by ee okay so what is the maximum horizontal displacement let's call it delta max that will be the distance that our uh, electron is going to travel during time t in the horizontal direction so it will be v cos theta t so it's v cos theta into 2 mv sin theta time of flight upon ee okay e okay so it is uh, mv squared mv squared 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta upon e e is that right mv squared sin 2 theta by e mv squared sin 2 theta by e yes that's right so question 60 option b and that completes our physics 2017 of acer aptitude test right if you are new to our channel uh, let me tell you that qubit educational services is the only channel that is providing detailed solutions of all acer aptitude tests since its inception that is 2017 okay please check link in the description or you can also see a card which will take you to the link to all solved previous year's questions of acer aptitude test so thank you for watching and all the best for your exam thank you